I want to put this, read this first for you. I'm showing this uh, endorsement by Larry Flint. Uh, Childers is the name I have to use. I didn't find out about my real name until late 1983 uh, and being kidnapped and brought to Moulton, Alabama. Uh, but uh, Mr. Flint, this is April issue of 84, and before I say anything else, because I'm so sick right at the moment from what's being done, what's done here, I'm going to have to move. Um, I wanted to uh, mention Dr. Jonas Robitscher and uh, Jonas B. Robitscher, and I just Googled to make sure of the time that he was murdered, and he was murdered. He was 60, lawyer in psychiatry, died 3-26-81, a pioneer in forensic psychiatry, died of cancer in his home, lawyer and psychiatrist. Now I want to, uh, he had written a lot of books, so the last one published in about 1980 was The Power of Psychiatry of a Lippincott. And in it, he listed 10 of my uh, cases that I'd written in a medical malpractice book, MDLI Since Kill. It was about mind control, murders done in patterns. Larry Flint was one of them. He was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, March the 6th of 78, and um, his attorney was killed. Uh, and this is so uh, he flew me out there. I had never met him till this time. He even said I knew who was responsible for his shooting in Atlanta. And he mentions Larry McDonald, who was congressman doctor, and one of them that had to be in on trying to kill me, April Fool Day of eighty. And um, anyway, that um, I'm really not feeling good. <laughs> Some stuff has gone on here, and. Um, Anyway, I'll have to move somehow. If, uh, anyway, what I wanted to say was Jonas Robitscher, uh, when I was writing the book about mind control and programming and programming people to kill and shoot in any, uh, I mean, knife, mass uh, program armies uh, is so updated now. But uh, uh, I said this, I, I'm not going to do this again. I'm really sick. So, anyway, uh, Dr. Robichaud was um, uh, head of law and psychiatry at Emory University. And it's the Tesla files that were stolen uh, back in early 30, or maybe it was pre 30. Um, and it's um, mind control, and they can cause cancer to be cured or, or create an illness. And that's what they did with him with cancer. It was murder. It's hard to prove. Now I want to go across the state line back to Huntsville, Alabama in 19. Probably about the same time this happened. I didn't Google him. But he was a German. Uh, he, Excuse me. His wife was a German Jew. He was a Jew from New York and Dr. Robicher, except Dr. Robicher is a very decent man. Hyman Miller was a cold-blooded killer, and uh, I could go in on that and name names on that one. But anyway, that, that's where NASA is in Redstone Arsenal, Arsenal Command Center there in Huntsville. But he died, and I needed to Google that, but I'm, uh, I'm positive I was told he died of brain cancer himself. Uh, so I'm going to leave it at that one, but the timeline was about the same there, and they both died of cancer. Uh, one was good and one was very evil, the Dr. Hyman Miller. So um, I want to try to connect it here if I can. Uh, Larry Flint was shot March the 6th of 78, and it was a program shooting. He flies me out there during a political campaign in uh, October of 83 twice. And uh, the plane that went down August the 31st of 83 carried... Congressman, U.S. Congressman, Dr. Larry McDonald. He was a urologist at Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta. Now I'm going to go back and just a little bit, and I'm not feeling good, so I'm just going to upload this. Dr. Roberts, you're such a good man. Um, he um, wrote a, a, well, he had published a lot of books. But this one was by Lippincott before he um, died in 81. Probably published in 81, Power of Psychiatry. The last chapter had 10 of my cases. I'd never met him. 
Uh, so I don't know the point in it, other than they were 10 of my cases. He didn't take credit or anything. He just listed them. So anybody could go back and pick up the book. I assume it's still published. But um, he, a patient of his who was suing her psychiatrist, Jean Srokerman, came to Dr. Robertshire. He referred her to uh, my attorney, Eugene Kaiser. And uh, Eugene Kaiser had been a uh, former district attorney in Fulton County, that's Atlanta. And Jean Srokerman that Dr. Uh, Robertson sent to her was suing her psychiatrist, and I think it was for rape. And he took a deposition, and he had her file, and uh, my attorney handed me the deposition and said that the police came in and confiscated her file, and um, it was illegal. They didn't bring it back. But And he's a former district attorney, okay? But Jean Srokerman was gunned down. She went to work at Piedmont Hospital where Dr. Warren and Rosina Matthews uh, had practiced uh, forensic uh, pathology. They were gunned down in Cobb County, Marietta. And I had been writing about them because they knew how deaths were made to appear of natural cause. And that was mind control. You can cure any illness or you can create it. So anyway, back to Jean Srokerman. And that, by the way, well, let me say this so I don't get confused this morning. Uh, it's so early in the morning I haven't slept. I'm so sick. Um, Jean Srokerman went to work at Piedmont Hospital for another psychiatrist. And this one uh, had to do with... Uh, in, in some ways with my husband and in uh, another way with someone I trusted. But anyway, uh, I'll let you think for yourself here. He's a psychiatrist, Hardeman at Piedmont Hospital. Uh, Gene Srokerman goes to work for him in his office, and someone comes in Christmas Eve of 76 or 77 and shoots her, and she her body's up against the wall next to the Christmas tree, and she's dead. So now then, um, Warren and Rosina were, Matthews were the pathologists at Piedmont Hospital. They were shot by a group that were programmed. I knew that. Buddy Darden, I ran in the campaign later to replace Dr. Larry McDonald, congressman, doctor at Piedmont Hospital. He worked at Piedmont. Uh, he was one of them I know he had to be that tried to kill me. He was the case in my book. And um, on April, uh, April Fool Day of 80. Anyway, uh, Larry Flint mentioned him here because um, he said I knew who was responsible for his shooting in Lawrenceville. And uh, I guess I'm veering away because I'm not feeling good and I haven't slept. I'm so sick. But um, Buddy Darden prosecuted the shooting of Warren and Rosina Matthews, Dr. Uh, and the, one of the the lady in that group that shot him, they were programmed, but she they actually said she was hypnotized. So anyway, I wanted to get to this real quick. Across uh, uh, Dr. Robertshire was murdered, really, 32681. Now, across the state line where I was illegally taken in the condition I was in is German Jew psychiatrist. This is NASA and all that. Uh, Hyman Miller. His wife was a German Jew. He died about that time of brain cancer, about the same time as Robicher. So somebody got him. He was the polar opposite of Robicher. Uh Hyman Miller was a cold-blooded killer. So I don't know if I put down what I meant to or not, uh, all of it, but um, anyway, that's the reason I was telling you about Larry Flint, and I haven't seen him since. And this uh, was the issue of April 1984. I think I pretty much got it in there. Uh, the, if I can get this on the plane, I won't care. And Larry McDonald, Dr. Congressman, was the KAL that went down August 31st of um, 83, and that's when I was flown out to Flint's and became a candidate. And I had written about him in the book, in uh, medical malpractice book. So... Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this if I can get on it. The plane carrying him veered into Russian airspace and they shot it down. And that's part of mind control. They can program the pilot. Uh, but uh, let me say this. In Juneau, Alaska, 